Hi guys, Jen here from Aiden Scents and Such and Be Scented. I am making a soap that I have not made in forever. And this is Winter Candy Apple. And I'm going to attempt the double in the pot swirl that I've used in the past to make this soap. So I'm really excited um, to see how this turns out. And I am doing a voiceover on this one, just like previous videos. I kind of enjoy doing it this way. Instead of trying to talk to you guys during the soap making, you guys let me know if you are enjoying this type of video. I'm still talking. It's just not, you know, when I'm making the soap. So I'm doing the heat transfer method like always. And just using my hot lye water to melt down my hard oils. I have added my additives into the liquid portion here, just using my stick blender to get that blended all up. And then we're going to add that part to our hard oil mixture that has the lye water in it. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing three different colors. We're going to have green, red, and white. And then we're going to um, do two in the pot swirls with green and white and red and white. And then we're going to do a drop swirl with those uh, two portions. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring out for my colors. And then the last bucket will be for my white. So the colors that I'm using is going to be a mix of red high heels and our new red mica. That's what's going to make my red. And then I'm going to just use some green oxide. I have a, a bunch of that on hand that I've had for a long time. And I wanted to use up some of that. And then uh, in the other bucket, I am having titanium dioxide that I have mixed with water. Now, later in the video, you guys are going to see a big oopsie that I make. Uh, when I spill the titanium dioxide that I mixed up, it makes a big mess, but did not deter me. I was able to easily finish my soap and then clean up the mess afterwards. So here in this bag is our red high heels. I'm using the bigger portion of my color in the red high heels. And then I'm just going to use a smidge of our new red mica just to deepen that color. Um, the red is a true, true red, but just note that it can bleed. So I opted this time to do a mix of the two colors. And then this is just some green oxide. I don't prefer green oxide because it is a bit difficult to mix in directly in soap, you know, how I soap, but it turns out just fine. And then I am adding our fragrance. Again, we are doing winter candy apple. If you have not soaked with this fragrance, it's absolutely beautiful. You guys should know from now and from previous videos that if I can soap with the fragrance then anybody can because when you soap using the heat transfer method it is extremely hot and um, it does you know it is known to speed up your soap much faster than when you are just doing room temperature so if a fragrance behaves well doing a heat transfer method you know it's going to behave well in room temperature soap. So I've just got my titanium dioxide, the white portion mixed up. We're going to go to the red and then we will do green last. As you can see, look how beautiful that red is. And I just used the tiny bit of our red mica mixed with uh, red high heels. It makes a beautiful color. Perfect Christmas red. So if you guys have those colors, just know that you can do that and it makes a beautiful red. If not, you can head over to the website and grab uh, those colors now. Also grab this fragrance. This week is uh, on sale is our pumpkin spice fragrance. It's a fantastic fall and holiday fragrance. So I highly suggest you to grab that fragrance while it's on sale. So now I'm going to do the in the pot swirl portion. And knowing going further, I should have poured uh, up a little bit higher because my white did not make it all the way to the bottom of the colors, but it turned out really good. You guys will see at the end, it did turn out really nice, but it I did not pour it quite deep enough. Now, if the soap batter looks a little grainy, that is not because of ricing or anything. That's just because my soap is really hot. 
if I would give it a stir, it smoothed right out. But I did not want to stir it because, you know, I was doing the in the pot swirl. Now, I always opt to um, pour my soap batter when I'm doing it in the pot swirl, you know, in like an S motion or going around in a circle versus pouring it into like three separate spaces. Because doing it this way, I don't have to go in and uh, use a spoon to stir it around. It's already done for me. I'm going to leave the rest of the white in this bucket and we are going to use it for topping. So now I'm going to get my mold that I have lined earlier. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to get my mold in here and we are going to make sure it's set up nice at the camera. And we're going to get this soap poured. Um, if you're interested in the molds that I use, uh, we do offer them for sale at, on the website. Just be, go to bescented.com. I am using the standard five pound mold. Uh, with this mold, I recommend using 55 ounces of oils. And it will make a bar of soap that is three and a half inches by two and a half inches tall. Now you can definitely fill the mold completely to the top if you want and make a much bigger bar of soap. Like the bottom of this, this soap turned out so, so pretty. It's just, I realized, you know, three quarters of the way through that I didn't get my in the pot swirl quite deep enough. So I definitely gonna be doing this again. See right there, big blunder you guys. I sat my container down on my titanium dioxide spilled it everywhere but instead of panicking i just threw some paper towels down to stop it from running off the table and then just continued on my way i was like i'll clean it up later and it did splash on my feet <laughs> so you know but that's okay i got it cleaned up I'm really enjoying uh, this camera angle. You guys let me know in the comments um, if you guys enjoy this angle as well. I feel like, you know, you can really see down in the mold while we're pouring and um, you can just see the whole process really well this way. See, the soap you can see looks a little bit grainy and it gets a little bit thick uh, to pour, but that's just because I'm not stirring my soap in between pours like I normally would. But I will gently start shaking the containers and that kind of helps uh, with the thickness. I just really didn't want to mix up uh, the in the pot swirl portion that I had did. So this next go around, I'll start kind of shaking my containers to swirl the soap around a little bit. And that smooths things out very easily, very quickly. But this, this pour and the next one is when um, I kind of get some solid parts, you know, down in the soap. So I call this a double in the pot swirl with a drop swirl. Um, I had no idea who invented it or when it was first done. I tried it years ago and I thoroughly enjoyed how it turned out. And I'm going to do this more often. Okay guys, so for the remainder of this video, I'm just not going to talk anymore. We're going to play some nice music and let you guys watch the ending of this video and the cutting. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Please comment, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you're a Bee Scented customer or if you've never heard of us before. We would love to get in touch with all of our customers and you know, follow your social media as well. So comment in here where you're watching from, if you're a Bee Scented customer, if you are not a Bee Scented customer, if you're new to the channel, and um, I will give you a follow. So thank you guys so much for watching and you know, 
in cue the music. 